Manaus, capital of the mighty Amazonas. Can a city get more exotic than that? This is no doubt the place in Brazil that surprised me the most, in a good way. Welcome to Manaus! Beware, you might have so much fun you forget about that jungle trip. Manaus, Brazil. You did not look one bit as I imagined. You were so much better. Manaus. Isn't that just kind of a village in the middle of the Amazonian rainforest with nothing to do? That's what I thought as well. But boy, was I surprised. This is why you gotta spend some time in Manaus and what to do here if you got three, four days. Hold on. Remember, this is how to best enjoy Manaus, Brazil for some days. For wild adventures into the rainforest, look somewhere else. Alright, most of us know Amazonas is pretty big, but it wasn't until now I realized just how much wild nature is surrounding Manaus and that it's actually a huge city of 2 million people. I knew so little. <laughs> so here we are. I have no idea what to do in this place. And that's exactly what I needed right now. Something brand new. Manaus, show us what you got. You already know where Manaus is, right? Of course you do. It's up there in the rainforest. Welcome to Manaus. Thank you, good sir. <laughs> If you expected a muddy swamp with swarming mosquitoes, you're in for a treat. Man, it's not raining. Just a simple thing like that. I was expecting rain. Not only can you expect decent weather, few other Brazilian cities are as pleasant and easy to cover by foot, especially the historical area. Colorful colonial houses, modern landmarks, ugly concrete buildings, and a big splash of indigenous culture. It's all mixed together here. I'm not sure exactly how I expected Manaus to be, but I didn't expect it to be this, you know, laid back, nice, walking friendly place. By the way, many know Manaus as a struggling city that fell into poverty when the world no longer needed the natural rubber. Forget about that. Manaus is booming again, growing like never before. I love how everything just seems to be happening at the same time here. There's no theme to Manaus. It's a little of this, a little of that. And of all the quirky sites in the central area, one shines brighter than all the rest. We'll get back to that in a few minutes. Here we are, in the Amazonas. <laughs> it's still unreal, just imagine it. There's just something we gotta do before continuing. A necessary first step, fixing this. Finally. Yes, feel like a new man again. <laughs> Not my best haircut, but it only costs $6. Here we are, where 90% of all Manaus tourist photos are taken. So, one thing you'll find out pretty quickly is all roads lead eventually to the Teatro Square. This is the main tourist site. It's also the place where people hang out and where you have dinner. Pretty much everything happens here. We met a Swedish guide here. Hey, hey, <laughs> you're good. This what Viking from Manaus, Amazonas. Hey, hey, Svenska Flicka, hey. <laughs> this is also where locals go to get cool photos. Hello guys from Swedish Gringo, I'm Chrisma, Miss Rondonia Supranational and welcome to Manaus! Thank you, I already feel welcome. People in Manaus are so friendly and respect your personal space a bit more than many other parts of Brazil. Anyways, the Amazon Theater, pure joy for the eyes. And we have tickets for a show later on. Alright, it's time to check out one of the top weekend activities for the locals here in Manaus, if we ever get there. Traffic is a killer. It will take you time to get around. This is the destination, a flutuante, basically a floating restaurant nightclub. I hope it's worth it. It also used to be sun an hour ago when I started this journey. Entrance is about $6 and that includes a little adventure. And this is actually the first time I'm in the Amazonas jungle. A small boat will come and pick you up. Let's do this little jungle adventure. This 10 minute transport was a lot of fun. We are now officially on the Amazon River. 
I hate people saying the journey is the destination, but in this case it's kind of true. Everyone visiting Amazonas needs a trip on the river, and if you're short on time, this might be your best shot. There are loads of different flutuanches with different themes, so make sure you know what you're after. It's almost like a little floating town out here. We went for the party place. This one looks like a nightclub. If arriving on a weekday, however, don't expect too much people. The real party happens at special events at night. Check the schedule. I guess it's time for that very first swim in the Amazonas River. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I should have mentioned this. Help! I forgot. There's no salt water in the Amazon. It's much harder to swim here. They said it would be awfully cold in the water here. I don't think they went to Rio. To really appreciate the daytime Flutuancha, I recommend going here with some company. Amazonian rain. Ah, some people just know how to enjoy life. What do you like about Manaus? Okay, there are a lot of stuff. Here, amazing in Manaus. First of all, the Amazon rainforest and the river, uh, it's just peaceful to be here. And also the people, people here are really welcoming. People will always come up to you, ask you where you're from, invite you to, oh, let's hang out, let's go over there. This is nice to do. Eu gosto da comida, da cultura, a natureza. If you got two days or more in Manaus, a flutuanche should be on your list. So, what goes on after dusk in Manaus? Much more than I expected. The theater square is a natural go-to spot for some dinner with a view and light music. But this is not a place to go crazy. If you require a little more action, you got plenty of choice. Throughout all popular parts of Manaus, you'll find these large pubs playing live music in local style. If you're not a hardcore fan of Brazilian country, consider this a free party. Here's another, a bit more adventurous option. The area Jorge Teixeira is famous for its bar street with cheap food and drinks and loud music. And if there's a football game, well, this is Brazil. And nightclubs? Now going to the number one club on Wednesdays. Manaus party scene runs on a rolling schedule with a different place each day. There's an Insta page for it, check that first. <laughs> Once again, don't expect full-on rave Ibiza style, but there will be places playing electronical music. Qual é a melhor coisa do Manaus? All in all, Manaus nightlife widely exceeded my expectations, but you'll enjoy it more with some company, as people will mostly hang by their table. And what about safety? People say a lot about Manaus, trafficking, etc., but the overall feeling here, even walking in the shady part of time at night, feels <laughs> totally fine. Not the safest, but okay. The vibe in Manaus is different from the rest of Brazil. If I was teleported here, I would probably have guessed I was in Central America. Or... Street food, tropical heat... I'm just getting a lot of Thailand vibes around here in Manaus. There's a little Southeast Asia touch, isn't it? And suddenly on the streets... <laughs> What's up, man? It's a YouTuber, um... Something gringo. Something gringo. Yeah. yeah. The uh, Swedish. Yes. Got it, okay, okay. Wow. And here's a little something for you who want to experience the Amazonas without fighting mosquitoes and jaguars in the jungle or spend a lot of money. Now let's enjoy. Musa Botanical Garden is kind of a miniature Amazon rainforest. You'll meet the animals hiding out there in the bush and the one that used to. Now this is a pretty darn big alligator. 
and more than anything, people come here for the view. Time to see the Amazonas from above. This 45 meter tower was surprisingly tough to climb. Oh my god. And it's 10 minutes until the park closes. But once up there, it's all worth it. My friends, this is the Amazon Rainforest. If a botanical garden doesn't feel exciting enough, there's another option for you who don't want to go full Crocodile Dundee. I had to go up 4 in the morning for this. Yeah, it better be worth it. Anyhow, there's a ton of different rainforest tours in this area, known as Presidente Figueiredo. And the place is packed with waterfalls. I have no idea which is the best, so just roll the dice. Let's move a little closer to the actual waterfall. When getting close to the waterfall, there is a very heavy stream pulling towards it. Just an idea, don't walk up to the waterfall with a phone in hand. Ah, the things we do for art. Next stop on your tour will likely be another waterfall. There are just so many of them. Always a little tricky going down ah, when you have no idea how deep it is or what you actually have under your feet. Now that is quite a view. Let's try getting a little closer. But watch out for falling bodies. Probably safest to stay out of the water and do the jumping instead. Let's spare my mom from a heart attack and get on with the jungle trek. You will probably see this place. The Red River. Make sure to get a photo and then go straight to the nearby Blue Lagoon. I very much doubt there's anything authentic about this pool, but at least it's relaxing. And next door awaits the real thing. It's time to try this Azure Blue Natural Lagoon. Yes. Nice and fresh. Let's go. All in all, a pretty decent tour, but it doesn't really feel like I've been to the Amazon rainforest. Uh, we're back in Rio? No, the biggest surprise of all, Manaus has a huge beach. Caipirinha, here I come. All right, not only does the sun actually shine here in Manaus, they even have a beach. Who would have known? I'm excited like a little child. Ponta Negra is the upper class neighborhood in West Manaus where people go to exercise and chill out. Here we go, Manaus. It's got this huge amphitheater for live music and dance shows and next to it, the beach. And I gotta say, from a first glance, this looks good. Nice soft sand, people doing beach sports, those iconic lifeguard towers and plenty of small restaurants. In many ways it reminds of the beaches in, for instance, Natal in the northeast. It's just that the water is a little less turquoise. Okay, let's keep it real. The water is pretty far from turquoise, but we gotta remember, this is a lake, not the ocean. It's nice and warm. Feels pretty clean as well. Has no smell. And everyone is watching. Yeah, not a lot of gringos around here. <laughs> well, at least it's done. In all fairness, you didn't come to Manaus for the beaches. But if you need somewhere to tan for a few hours, Ponta Negra Beach is perfect. Opa! Caipirinha! Small and delicious. <laughs> it's crazy how a 15-year boy can make a perfect caipirinha. That's pretty gangster. Yeah, I'm starting to really like this place. I keep asking myself the same question. Are we really in the Amazonas? best beach in the Amazonas. And Ponta Negra is not just a beach, this is also where you find the nicest cafes, restaurants and bars, with the absolute best view. This is a fancy place. I can only imagine how busy this place must be during Valentine's Day. 
but I didn't bring in the classical orchestra just for the sunset. We're finally taking a look inside the famous Teatro Amazonas. Yes, my friends, it is time for the Swedish gringo to be a little cultural. It is theater time. I am excited. I have no idea which kind of music they will be playing. Weiser Legam. It's almost like entering a church. Sacred. It's possible to take tours daytime, but show tickets are only $20, so go for the real thing. And since I'm now Brazilian, I'm arriving late. And discreet. I can't say I have a long record of visiting old theaters, but this one sure has a unique feeling about it. The interior is simply stunning. Frankly, I have no idea which artist was playing. But this place isn't really about who's performing anyways. It's just awesome to be in here. This theater has been the heart of Manaus for almost 130 years. On the way out, don't forget to check the decor. So right behind us we have the Mirror of Truth. It's known to show you as you really are. I'm not sure if I'm up to this. I mean, who's gonna be looking back at me? It seems to be me. <laughs> I am myself. Most predictable closing comments ever. But yeah, you gotta check out the theater. And that's all, folks. Alright, so have I inspired you to come to Manaus? Well, I sure hope so. Maybe not that you absolutely need to travel across the whole of Brazil just to come here, but if you're anywhere near the area or already planning to visit the Amazonas, you gotta spend some time here in Manaus. This really is a unique place you won't find anywhere else in Brazil. There you go, that's the end of my Brazil travels. No more videos. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll keep pumping up great content as long as you're watching. If you like the video, please subscribe and support the channel. I need it. Thanks for watching and be safe.